Okie dokie. In this video, uh, I'm going to take a look at a way to consolidate your social stream chat messages into one place. So what do I mean by that? So it, a lot of people, when they do a stream now, um, will stream to more than one platform, say Twitch or YouTube. And uh, I want to talk about this great extension here from Steve Segrin. Let's just move my boat race to the bottom here and we can take a look at the github account so steve segwin um he has uh, along with a couple of collaborators made uh, video.ninja it's a great tool and uh, if you've had any sort of one-to-one -one chats with me recently that's the tool i've been using and it's a uh, a great platform for using with obs now this um browser extension he's made is a way to um consolidate all of your chat messages from all the different platforms into one single browser source so you can use it on your OBS. So what does that mean? Um, let's take a quick look at, Steve has given some really good instructions here on how to do this with Chrome. I'm an Edge user, so I'm gonna be doing this for Edge. I'm gonna pop open a, a private browser tab here. And at the moment, um, I don't have social stream activated for uh, private mode. So if I go down to where it is, go to the details here and say allowing private, and I go back over here, I've got a social stream. And you'll also notice that there's a new version available. So I think that's just going to redirect me here. And I can get the latest version from, from GitHub here, but via this link. So what I'm going to do is go back on over to my extensions, which is here. And I'm just going to remove this. And I'm just going to download it again. Uh, let's just go over to my downloads folder. Wherever that is, I can't find it. So Explorer here. Go to my downloads. And this is where I have the extension. I've got the zip file here and I have a folder which I've extracted from it. I'm just going to delete those. I'm going to go back on over to the GitHub site and in clicking this link, we'll just download the latest version of the extension for me, uh, which is here. And you can see I've already had the previous one, which I've deleted. So if I go back on over into my extensions, you can see I've got developer mode enabled here um, and that gives us these options. So if I disable this, they go. Select those again, say load unpacked and go over to my downloads. Downloads, 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 here they are. Um, uh, downloads? Ah. Downloads. And open this file here. Is in my downloads. I, I don't know what happened there. So um, I'm just going to right click on this and say show more options. I use uh, 7-zip. You can use whatever package um, zip management tool you use. Uh, I'm just going to extract this to a folder named social stream main. And then I've got this here. So this means now I can, um, sorry for the scrolling, I can say load unpacked and go back to the downloads and say social stream main, select this and then go all the way back down to the bottom here. You see that it's enabled. So what I also want to do is allow this in private and I'm going to switch over to my private tab again. And I've got social stream here. And that's it. You can say enable, disable. And when I mentioned uh, video.ninja, this is um, a hosted service. So this will just po point to um, this information. So this doc.html and this index.html, which are on video.ninja somewhere. And I've got a session for my what I'm using now. Um, but let's just go over to YouTube. I'm using a private window because um, I know that um, there will be a lot of uh, live sessions going on live sessions going on at the moment so it's just like youtube here and if i go down to live like google track me yes 
live. And oh, Roblox, 18,000 people watching that. So what I can do here is I can just pause this. I don't need this. All I need is the comments here. And for social stream to work, you need to pop out the chat here. So now if I go back over to the social stream extension and there's, there's two links, dockable streaming chat link. I'm gonna open this in a private window and you'll see the comments coming in here for that stream. And then there's also this part here for single message overlay only link. So this is if someone that has a message to you which you want to highlight in your stream, you can use this one here. So let's open this in a private window. And nothing at the moment, of course, but let's just pick one, this one here, and then it pops up. Now with all the options that are selected at the moment, it's just gonna stay here forever. So there is an option here to dismiss after 20 seconds. Let's check that one. And I'm going to need to open up this link again because at the moment, this doesn't have the uh, show time at 20,000 milliseconds. So I could just add that to there really and hit enter. So that will disappear over time because it's just refreshed, it's gone away anyway. So if we click on one of these, it's gonna show up and then after 20 seconds, it will go away. This is great. Um, so basically, this is, so um, I can add this to OBS as a browser source now. And uh, if you look at this, you can go to inspect and you can find all of the, like the CSS variables relating to that. It's, it's gone away now, so we can't see that. Um, but if there is anything you want to adjust, you can do that in the source code file, which I just downloaded from GitHub. Um, I'm just gonna go into how to set this up in OBS for now and then we can maybe take a look at that towards the end of the video. Okay, so I've got my YouTube stream going. Um, so just a bit of clarification, this isn't so you can just pipe other people's comments into your stream, they could but it'd be a bit weird. It's, it's, it's for your own stream. So this is when, um, say if you are streaming to Twitch and uh, YouTube, Facebook maybe, um, that you can go and set this up before you start streaming. Um, and then you could have all of your chat consolidated consolidated into one overlay. Right, so let's find one for Twitch. Uh, Twitch TV. And I'm just gonna blindly accept cookies because this is a private session. I'm gonna close it after this anyway. Let's go over to uh, this one here. We've got the chat over on the right. I'm gonna go to the cog. And what happened there? Say, pop out the chat. So this comes out in its own window. So if I go over to my social stream dashboard here, these are all YouTube at the moment. And you'll notice that I've got ones for Twitch now as well. Cool, but how do I use that in OBS? So let me just pop open uh, an OBS uh, session. Obviously I'm recording OBS now. I'm recording this on ABS. So I'm going to open up uh, another window and it's going to ask me to launch anyway. I'm going to say yes. Of course, it's opened up on the other window. And we've got a bit of um, scene exception going on here. I'm going to want to create a new scene for this. So I'm just going to go over to my alerts section here. And I'm going to say uh, social share. And what is it I'm going to add here for the scene? Um, chat and then in this chat scene i'm going to want to add a browser source and this is going to be for let's just say called this one is called single message overlay go back over to abs we call this single message overlay and let's hit enter on that. And this will bring up the properties for the browser source. So that is this here. So if I copy paste that into here for my URL source and my canvas for OBS is 1920 by 1080, is it? Um, I'm just gonna want it at 1920 width. So it takes up the full width of the screen. And I'm gonna have it at like 300 pixels high. Let's enter that. 
Okay, so now if I go over to my social stream dashboard and pick a message and then tab back on over to OBS here, you can see that, that pops up. Sweet, right? So uh, let's just move this down here. But it's not the best way to, to, to manage it. So um, like you're streaming, you've got your OBS on one side and you've got like all these browser tabs open and like how do you manage that sort of thing? It's, you know, you can't really sort of go into a browser, click on a link and then sort of try and manage it in OBS. What Steve has done is that you can um, use this chat here as a, a doc. So you can say custom browser doc and you can say doc name, um, social stream doc. And then for the URL, it's going to take this and paste this in here and say apply. Now I've got a social stream doc and put it over, over the side here. If uh, OBS will let me. There we go. Right. So apply, close that. Now I've got my stream over here and you can pick out any message I like and it shows up in the stream. Sweet, right? Um, this does take up a lot of space though, as you can probably see here. So there are some options in the tool, which you can configure. You can say light mode if you've got uh, like a, a light and dark scene. Um, so say if I overlay this onto like a, a very light screen, then um, you'd see that quite easily. But if it was dark, then um, probably not so well. Um, so let's go back to these options. They can say hide the source icon, um, which will say if it's from Twitter or from uh, Twitch. Um, you can hide the timestamp and we'll just leave it at that, I guess. So you notice that this has now changed. So what I can do with this is just copy those variables, go back on over to OBS here. And for my doc, can I edit this in browser docs? In here, and just pack those on. Make sure I've got the air and say apply and close that. And you, when it comes back in, this is it just shows you the username, their avatar, and their message now. So it's a bit bit nicer to manage that way. Okay, cool. So we've got that on screen. Um, what we can also do is there is an option to have this as, I think it's compact mode. Let's go, here it is, compact. So that just adds a compact at the end. So we can use that as a browser source in the scene here to add in another scene. So let's just say browser, and this will be a chat overlay. And then in here, I'm gonna want to have that. Let's just copy that and then use that in here. And I, I'm not sure what dimensions I'm going to need to use. So I'm just going to leave it at the default here. Then I now have the, the chat as well. So you could probably put this into like a lower third on, um, on your display here. So then you can pick out any messages from here and you can also have your chat as well. Awesome, right? So, I think that's dope. Um, there, there is, uh, I think I touched on it earlier for like further customization with like these colors here uh, on on this overlay. You could just sort of dig into these, say inspect, and then let's go uh, another one. Got 20 seconds to find it. Uh, so we could say for this color here, this has got the uh, highlight name class. So if I copy that, Let's open up uh, VS Code, uh, VS Code. And that's opened up on the other screen as well. Let's bring it up here. And we'll go find that social stream folder, I think was in here. So let's just drop this onto VS Code here. And it should open up the folder. I don't really do things this way. Uh, let's just say trust that. Okay, so uh, it's highlight name, wasn't it? So that's going to be in the index file here, index.html. Give this side panel. And let's do a search for highlight name. 
So this uses CSS variables and we can sort of find any of these say for the author background color. What do I want? Um, another one. Change. Effect. And this HL name. Yes, we want to change the author BG color. So author BG color. Do, 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 do. And copy that. And we'll say find. And here it is. And I'm going to change it to the only hex color I can remember off heart, which is 6633.9 is Rebecca Purple. So if I save this, I'm not sure if Pretty is going to auto format it for me. It's not. So now I can use this file um, for my. Uh, for my own overlays so rather than have this hosted one which is like social ninja uh, index.html so i'm just going to need to point to the file which is this one so let's go back over to explore drag this up here so this is pointing to my c drive it's asking me to enter the session id i'm just going to say okay and i'm going to take everything from this question mark here and put that into the end the end of this and hit enter so now if i pick another message and go back over here you see this has changed so now i can use this let's say for my overlay in obs let's go back on over to my overlay single message overlay and replace this url with my local file hit ok and what i'm probably going to need to do actually as well is scroll down to the bottom here and say refresh cache of current page let's try that now i should just do it in obs here all right cool so now i've got my um my own sort of custom overlay which i can change and um edit to my heart's content so that's as much as I've, that's as much as i've discovered at the moment I think this, this is dope. I really like it. And I think Steve's done an awesome job with this. So um, if you if you liked it, then uh, let me know. Uh, I'm going to be playing about a bit more. Um, and this has actually made me want to start uh, streaming a bit more again as well. Uh, because this can be a thing when you, um, like the chat can get fragmented between like different platforms. And like a lot of professional uh, streamers will say, don't do this because of, of that exact reason. Um, but this brings it all together. Awesome, right? So that's it. If you've got any questions, just reach out. You can get me on Twitter, uh, GitHub, email, and of course, YouTube comments. So that's it for this one. I hope you found it useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.